Any questions about this? So this feature is very, very important. And um, so here again, let us uh, revisit the equations of the object. And here, uh, I simply want to uh, give you more useful equations and that can uh, do a little more calculation. Uh, by the way, I have uh, posted the first part of the chapter one homework uh, blackboard, only three questions, okay, so please do that one. And for chapter one, there's uh, three parts of the homework assignment, and gradually I will activate part two and part three. Uh, <clears throat> Earlier, we have the order equation is like this. So this is the time dependent uh, nonlinear differential equations. And this one, uh, to solve for it, is not really uh, feasible uh, by hand. Okay, so which means this equation has the less um, application and less usage, I mean, in terms of the fundamental classes. And so the purpose of, uh, to uh, for us to revisit this orbit, equation of the orbit is we like to transform this equation into um, uh, just algebraic equation, and that algebraic equation has a closed form. In this way, we can calculate and by hand easily. Okay, so that is the goal of these sections. So from here, um, so that's the goal um, is to derive this r equal to p. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain in details. E cosine mu. Okay, so we want to de uh, develop this kind of algebraic equation, this is equation of the orbit. And I'm going to explain uh, each of the terms in detail. I'm going to explain how this equation be uh, derived. And this equation will be used a lot from chapter 1, chapter 2, 3, 4, and so that is the, the, center, uh, the centers of the, our exercise. So here to do that one, we we uh, remember one equation for and that is eccentricity. Uh, eccentricity we have is velocity uh, cross product with h minus mu over r. r. So that is the eccentricity definition for the eccentricity vectors. So we simply take the uh, inner product. Okay, and I simply take the inner product uh, on the left hand side and on the right hand side, and we'll see what happens. So here, the left hand side basically is uh, mu uh, r e, okay, and equal to, and let me write it up uh, fully here, so that is r dot v. H minus mu over R. R dot. Okay, I simply uh, expand this. And now we're going to deal with uh, the three terms individually. So for this one, for this one, let me explain. And say, uh, say if this is the eccentricity uh, vectors and this is the uh, main focus, And say, for example, this is the uh, orbit. This is the orbit. And this is eccentricity vectors. So say, at the moment, the uh, object is here. So this is our vector r. OK. And if you remember, we. Uh, Earlier, I, I mentioned to you we have the eccentricity pointing to the peripheral focus, the peri centers or peripheral focus. 
her focus is this one. So say if we have uh, electric orbit and uh, occupied focus, which means the center of the Earth, say for example we take the satellite for example, this is the center of the Earth. And so this is a peri, uh, perigee <coughs> or periopsis. Basically that is a closest location to the center of the Earth. So here we define, uh, we align our E is to here. Actually, the E can be proved to align to that direction here. Okay, so here we always is, again, you remember this is the peri, perigee or periopsis, which means that the, the point closest to the center of the Earth in that orbit there. Okay, so we take this as a reference point and then we're going to measure the angle from where it is passed through. And this angle is defined by nu. Sorry, the nu is a symbol used by our textbook. Okay, so I will try to um, make that first clear and, and in writing and to distinguish the nu from uh, the, okay. Or otherwise, if you wish, you can use theta. But again, in our textbook, it uses this symbol nu. Okay, and nu is for the uh, true anomaly. Um, I don't know why they, they come up with this name, but that should be a long story behind. I didn't dig it out. Okay, and we just adopted it. And when you read the textbook, and true anomaly, true anomaly basically indicating is this angle. Okay, so here, this one basically, based upon this inf information, we can see R dot E basically is equal to simply is we take in the product is R times E times cosine nu. Okay, so simply we take this information, two vectors, and then have an angle between the two vectors, simply we can put it this way. Okay, okay, now we do this one. Um, for this, uh, for this one, we can quickly write it down is this. Uh, this one, uh, okay, we can utilize this equation. So A dot B cross C, and that one we can uh, rewrite is A cross B dot C. So I, I simply go to utilize these equations. So basically here, so therefore uh, R dot B cross H can be equal to uh, R cross B dot H, okay? And again, the R cross B, that is the definition of the angular momentum. So therefore, this term is H and this is H. Again, R cross B, if you remember from our previous lecture, that is the momentum, angular momentum, okay, H. Okay, so this is here is H squared. And this term, this term pretty straightforward. That is equal to mu over r, and r dot r equal to r squared. So basically, that is equal to mu r. Okay. So right now, with those things in mind, then we can rewrite the situation quickly. So therefore, we put these three things together. So here, the left hand side is R E and cosine nu, and equal to H square minus mu R. Okay, and we have two R's on either side. I'm going to uh, rearrange. So that means I'm going to uh, put, say, R and E cosine mu plus mu equal to h squared. So therefore, from here we can have is this um, h squared divided by mu, and uh, this is 1 plus e. <coughs> Am I right? Oops. Um, the 
again, I have a typo here. Uh, on the left hand side, I forgot uh, to copy the mu here. So here, sorry, the mu should also appear here, right? So that would be, mu would be go to here. Okay. So we have this one. So now we have this one, then we simply defined uh, h square over mu. We defined it, this is the definition, it defined by p, a constant, because the h, the magnitude of the angular momentum is constant, and mu is the gravitational uh, constant, so the whole thing is a constant. This one is defined as the, the name of p is called the parameters. I know the parameter is a very generic term, but again, in our textbook, actually in many other selection uh, dynamics of the textbook, P simply is named the parameters, okay? And, which is constant. And E is uh, the eccentricity. And nu is the true anomaly. Anomaly, A-M-O-M-A-L. -A -A. Probably I have a spelling mistake here, but don't worry. So from here, uh, we introduce those kind of notations, then we got this one. So this is the values for uh, the equation of the orbit and for us to use. And um, so that is the for for this one. And gradually, we will have the more exercise about these equations. But here, let me give you a little bit more the, uh, the information here. And uh, I think what's the best way to do this one? Um, so I will keep this, so right now this one, any any question about this? Otherwise, I'm going to erase this one for a new uh, small section. And that small section is to implement the information about this equation here. 